What up, y'all? It's to Downtown Ring Mellow, and you're listening to the Entertainer Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Monday, April 22nd, 2019, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash Entertainer Report with Ray Mellow. That's R A Y. M-E-L-O, on Twitter at The Enter Report, or on Instagram at The Entertainer Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for The Entertainer Report, and it'll take you to the page. I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. What well, in Buzz Lightyear must decide how to handle a toy destroying cat in a new teaser for Toy Story 4. The clip released on Twitter Thursday features Woody played by Tom Hanks and Buzz played by Tim Allen ending up at a carnival after going on a road trip. Woody at the carnival is reunited with the long lost Bo Peep who was missing in action from 2010's Toy Story 3. Buzz, meanwhile, becomes trapped alongside new characters Ducky and Bunny who are voiced by Keegan Michael Key and Jordan Peele respectively. The group is together when they encounter a cat who has just ripped apart a stuffed animal. Bunny asks Nahara, is that how we look on the inside? Ducky replies, there's so much fluff. Toy Story 4 from director Josh Cooley is set to arrive in theaters on June 21st. The sequel will also feature a new character named Forky, played by Tony Hale, a utensil who faces an identity crisis when he is given googly eyes and pipe cleaners to become his own unique toy. Fox has renewed its sitcom Last Man Standing for an eighth season. Starring Tim Allen and Nancy Travis, the show initially ran for six seasons on NBC and moved to Fox one year after it was canceled. It marked the, its 150th episode milestone Friday night. The next run of episodes are expected to air in the 2019-2020 television season. Travis tweeted this week in response to the Renewal News, Open some Chardonnay. We are back for season eight. Thanks to all of our steadfast fans. Al wrote in his own post, Forget Miller, the real news is Mike Baxter is back. Oh yeah, and the rest of the family too. Season 8 coming up. The series follows members of the conservative Baxter family who live in Colorado where patriarch Mike Baxter runs an outdoor sporting equipment store. The ensemble includes Amanda Fuller, Caitlin Dever, Molly McCook, Christopher Sanders, Hector Elizondo, Jordan Masterson, Jonathan Adams, and Krista Marie Yu. Carmen Bicondova explained on social media this weekend that she won't play uh, her Gotham character Selena Kyle, Cat, Catwoman, in the show's series finale on Thursday. Deadline.com said Westworld and the Purge actress Lily Simmons will take over the role in the episode, which is set a decade after the pen and ultimate chapter of the Batman's origin story. The 19-year-old actress posted a lengthy message explaining why she chose not to appear in the finale. Uh, Bicondova wrote, I firmly believe that part of a legacy, of leaving legacy and being a part of a legacy means knowing when to pass the torch to someone else. I was blessed to be the vessel for Selena Kyle for her formative teen years, and it was only felt right to give someone else the torch for her adult self. The show co-stars Ben McKenzie, Donald Logue, David Mazuz, Robin Lord Taylor, Sean Petrie, Aaron Richards, and Miranda Baccarin. The Gifted is the latest Marvel superhero series to be canceled in recent months. Fox declined to pick up the show, which was set in the X-Men universe, for a third season this week, Variety reported. The show's ensemble includes Stephen Moyer, Amy Acker, Jamie Chung, Nally Allen Lynn, Piercy Hines White, Sean Teal, Emma Dumont, Blair Redford, and Kobe Bell. Deadline.com says it's possible the series could find a new home on the soon to launch Disney Plus streaming service since Disney now owns Fox. Several new Marvel shows, such as The WandaVision and The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, are expected to make their debuts on Disney Plus. Netflix previously canceled its own slate of Marvel shows, including The Punisher, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Daredevil. Disney also owns Marvel Studios. Boys in the Hood filmmaker John Singleton remains hospitalized Saturday after suffering a stroke on Wednesday. Singleton's family told the Los Angeles Times in a statement that he's receiving, quote, great medical care in the intensive care unit at an undisclosed hospital. The statement says, we ask that privacy be given to him and our family at this time and appreciate all of the players that have been pouring in from his fans, friends, and colleagues. TMZ reported Singleton suffered the, uh, the medical crisis during a flight between Costa Rica and Los Angeles. He experienced weakness in his leg, went to a hospital, and suffered a mild stroke there. 
He has been undergoing tests and rehabilitation since. The 51-year-old writer director is also known for his work on Poetic Justice, Shaft, Too Fast, Too Furious, and Four Brothers. Pitch Perfect co-stars Anna Kemp and Skylar Ashton have split after over two years of marriage, the pair announced on Friday. Kemp and Ashton said in a joint statement, We can confirm that we've decided to separate, and this decision was made mutually and amicably. We kindly ask for privacy as we navigate this transition. Kemp and Ashton have unfollowed each other on social media. Ashton last posted a photo of himself with Kemp on Instagram on New Year's Day. Kemp and Ashton started dating in 2013 after meeting on the set of Pitch Perfect in 2012. They got married during an outdoor ceremony on the Central California coast in September 2016. Murray Warren, one of half of the paranormal investigative team that inspired the Amityville horror and the Conjuring film franchise, died, her family said she was 92. Her grandson, Chris McKinnell, said she died Thursday night in her home. He said, last night my grandmother, Lorraine Warren, quietly and peacefully left us to join her beloved Ed. She was happy and laughing until the end. Lorraine Warren and her husband, Ed Warren, were paranormal investigators whose works inspired books and horror movies, including the Conjuring series helmed by director James Wan. Actor Fira Formiga has played Lorraine Warren four times, including the forthcoming movie Annabelle Comes Home. Patrick Wilson played Ed Warren, who died in 2006. Formiga mourned Lorraine Warren in a series of posts on Twitter. Formiga says, from a deep feeling of sorrow, a deep feeling of gratitude emerges. I was so blessed to have known her and honored to portray her. She lived her life in grace and cheerfulness. You're waltzing with Ed now. Uh, Wilson shared a photograph of himself with Lorraine Warren and Formiga on Twitter. He tweeted, The heavens will surely burn a little brighter tonight. We lost a friend and inspiration. I will miss those stories, the laughter and the guidance. Rest in peace, sweet Lorraine. Tell Ed I said hello. Warren was 92. British pop star Adele has split up from investment banker Simon Konecki, her husband of two years. Adele's publicist said in a statement to Us Weekly on Friday, Adele and her partner have separated. They are committing to raising their son together lovingly. As always, they ask for privacy. There will be no further comment. The BBC also confirmed the formal couple separation, noting they exchanged marriage vows in 2016 after five years of dating. Adele and Konecki are the parents of, six, of six-year-old Angelo. Actress Michelle Williams is separated from her husband, musician Phil Everum. The Hollywood Reporter said the weekend that the couple split up at the beginning of the year. Field.com also reported the breakup, but said Williams and Everum will remain friends. They exchanged wedding vows in a small ceremony at the Adradax last July. They live in Brooklyn with twelve-year-old uh, with her twelve-year-old daughter Matilda. The child's father was actor Heath Ledger, who died from an accidental drug overdose in two thousand and eight. So our former cast members of the uh, 1919 sitcom Saved by the Bell reunited for dinner over the weekend. People.com said Mark Paul Gossler, Mary Lopez, Elizabeth Berkeley, and Tiffany Thiessen and their spouses all got together on Saturday night. Gossler captioned a group photo of the outing. This is what 30 plus years of friendship looks like. Berkeley shared the same image on her account, writing friends forever, hashtag spouses too, hashtag I'm so excited, hashtag buddy bands, hashtag love, hashtag friendship, hashtag family, hashtag life, hashtag magic. Missing from the reunion were their one-time castmates Dustin Diamond and Lark Voorhees. The show initially ran from 1989 to 1993. Khaled's Freight Spirit is the number one album in the United States. Coming in number two on the Billboard 200 chart dated Saturday is Billy Eish with When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? Nipsey Hussle's Victory Lap at number three. Ariana Grande's Thank You Next at number four. And Juice World's Death Race for Love at number five. Running at the top tier are Sarah Bareilles of Mr. Chaos at number six. Post Malone's Beer Bongs and Bentley's at number seven. Brooks and Dunn with Reboot in number eight. And, uh, um, well, rather, A Boogie with the Hoodie, um, hood, Hoodie's SZN at number 9, and Drake Scorpion at number 10. The horror movie The Curse of La Llorona is the number one movie in North America, earning $26.5 million in receipts this weekend. Box office Mojo.com said Sunday. The film stars Linda Cardinelli 
uh, Raymond Cruz, Patricia Velasquez, and Marisol Ramirez. Coming in number two, Suzanne with $17.3 million, followed by The Breakthrough, and number three with $11.1 million. Captain Marvel, number four, with $9.1 million, and Little, number five, with $8.5 million. Right now, the top tier are Dumbo at number six with $6.8 million, Pet Cemetery at number seven with $4.9 million, and last but not least, right up the top tier is uh, Little with uh, Little with at number five with eight point five million dollars. Right at the top tier are Dumbo at number six with six point eight million dollars. Pet Cemetery number seven with four point nine million dollars. Missing Link at number eight with four point million dollars. Us at number nine with four point three million dollars and Hellboy at number ten with three point nine million dollars. And as your entertainment report for Monday February, uh, Monday, April 22nd, 2019. I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R A Y M E L O on Twitter at the answer report or on Instagram at the entertainment report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the entertainment report anytime you want. On iHeartRadio, let's go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Good night, and God bless you all.